In this tutorial, you will learn how to stake out elements of a road model and how to use the tool to offset the data. The roading application is perfectly tailored to the needs of road construction. In this exercise, we stake out a road on a construction site. To use the roading application, you need specific road data. If no road data is available, you also can create a road model based on a DXF file using the road wizard. For further information, please watch how to create roads using the road wizard. In this exercise, road data exists, so we use the import function. We tap on new and select the type road data, so only files in the correct format are visible. We change the source to USB stick and select the file road model. Tap OK. From the home screen, we access the roading application. We see the imported file on the map. We select a road line, shown highlighted in blue, to stake it out. The guidance arrow provides direction and distance information to watch the selected road line. The center line is automatically highlighted in orange as a reference line. In the info panel, we see the following information. First, the stationing, measured from the center line, shows that we are around 1300 meters along the road. Secondly, the cotton fill value, which is the height difference between your position and the surface of the road model. The centerline distance shows the horizontal distance from the centerline to your position. The selected line distance, on the other side, shows the horizontal distance from the selected road line to your position. This value is also shown on the map. There's further information on the second page of the info panel. Here you mainly see values referring to the selected road line. The first row shows the stationing of the current position on this line and the height difference between your position and the selected line. The second row shows the horizontal distance from your current position to the next inner and next outer road lines. The third row shows slope information of the road model at the current position. The value on the left shows the cross slope perpendicular to the center line, whereas the value on the right shows the long slope along the center line. We can find more information about the info panel values in the help pictures. We tap and hold on the info panel to access the configuration view. In the top right corner, we tap on the information button to open the help pictures. We go towards the selected road line. When we are within tolerance, the pole position icon turns green. We measure and store the point. In this exercise, we need to create a new layer of the whole model. We open the toolbox and select the tool Offset Model. We enter 10 centimeters and accept. The offset is reflected in the cotton fill and DHSL value in the info panel. We measure some points on the new layer. We clear the applied offset and continue with the model in its original state. Next, we must mark the curbs of the road on the construction site. We select the outer line and open the toolbox. This time, we select the tool Offset Element. To mark curbs on the ground using the offset tool, we must do two rounds. 
So, first we only enter a height offset of 30 cm and tap on OK in the tool. We measure and store the point. For the second round, we select the tool again, but now also set a side offset of 1.5 meters. With the flip button, we shift the offset to the other side of the line. We measure and store the point. To monitor the height values between the road lines, we use the surface information between two adjacent road lines. We select this so-called cross slope directly from the map and measure some point across it. As soon as we go outside the selected cross slope, a warning message informs that no points can be measured. We can change the view mode into cross section through the view button in the bottom bar. The cross section view is explained in detail in the video, how to create and use cross sections in roading. Finally, we want to document the measured data. We exit roading and open reports from the data container. Then we select the report type, Roading, and tap on OK. We now see a preview of the report in PDF format. We can check the content and information before generating the report. We tap on OK and enter a name. That's it. You have learned how to import road data and how to stake out its road lines and cross slopes. You also have learned how to use the offset tools and how to create a report to document the measured data.